This week in Tim's just had something to eat, so you might burp at the camera, but hopefully not. Spoonerisms. Spoonerisms are where you swap the first letter of the of two words in a phrase, or maybe more than two words in a phrase, probably only two though. Now you may think that there's something on a matapeak about the word about the word that describes a spoonerism, or it's basically that I don't know, maybe it's got something to do with the shape of a spoon, or that spoons flip things over. I mean, they don't really do that, do they? But we all sort of have a vague idea that that might be the case. It is not. It was named after an Oxford Don. I'm still not quite sure what the actual definition of a Don is. I mean, there was Don Johnson. There was uh, John Johnson. Yes, that's how you say it, Johnson. And then there was Don Draper, and there was all the Dons in the gangster films. Anyway, this gang, this not gangster, this Oxford Don's name was. Hang on, I'm going to look at my notes. His name was Don William Archibald Spooner, which up until Archibald seems like a very English Oxford Don name. Either way, apparently he was famous for doing Spoonerisms for mixing up the first letters of each word. He was famous for mixing up words in biblical verses, so he was he was creatively blasphemous, I guess you could say, depending on your point of view. Notable examples of Spoonerisms are that meme that went around that said, Dig Bick, I bet you thought that you've read this wrong, or it said something like that anyway. The conceit of the joke is that you is that you're the one who's done something bad, it's your fault for not seeing it, but actually it's based on an illusion, that an optical illusion that we all assume that a D and a B... It's a really easy one, it's a, it's, I hate it, is what I'm trying to say. Another one, when you Google it, is... Uh, hang on, I've got to look at my notes again. Dear Old Queen or Queer Old Dean. <laughs> it's funny because it's about gay people. <laughs> I think my actual favourite one is the, the term from the Antipodes, which is no wuckers. I mean, I don't mean to sound uh, patronising to people from uh, Aus Australia. Some of my best friends are Australian. They're not. I don't have any friends. I only have people who I talk at. And sometimes I say amusing enough things for them to buy me a pint. Anyway, no workers is a is is an abbreviation or it's a contraction actually of uh, no working furries. I'm, you can do the legwork on that one. Anyway, that that was. Spoonerisms. Have a good week and a Monday. Actually, that's not quite the buy. I I need to start saying things like subscribe, like, share with your friends if you have some. I'm sure, I'm sure they'll in they they might enjoy they. There's a good chance there's there's some chance they'll enjoy this. Bye.